Let's solve a question on electric field due to dipoles. So here we have two points X and Y which are equidistant from the center of a tiny dipole. X lies on the equatorial plane and Y lies on the axis of the dipole and both are very far from the dipole. We are also given that this distance R is much higher, much higher than D. We need to compare the magnitudes of the electric fields at X and Y. And we have these four options. We need to pick the right one. All right, let's try to recall the electric field due to a dipole on the equatorial plane and on its axis. So this point X, it is on the equatorial plane and point Y is on the axis. Now electric field due to a dipole on the equatorial plane EX, this is equal to this is equal to P divided by 4 pi, 4 pi R cube, the distance of the point to the center of the dipole. P here is the dipole moment. And electric field on the axis, that is EY, which is equal to minus 2P divided by 4 pi epsilon naught into 4 R cube. So over here, if you look at if you look at the magnitudes of EX and EY, when we look at the magnitudes, we get rid of this minus sign. Then we see that there is there are some factors involved in the electric field at point Y on the axis. And this factor is really 2 divided by 4 cube, which is 4 cube, that is 64. So 2 divided by 64 or 1 by 32. This is the only extra factor, right? Everything else is the same. P divided by 4 pi epsilon naught R cube, which is the same as that in EY. And that is being multiplied with this factor 1 by 32. So EX, the magnitude of EX divided by 32 really is the magnitude of EY, right? Because EX is P divided by 4 pi epsilon naught R cube. When you divide this, this by 32, what you really get is the electric field at point Y. So out of these four options, the right option is option D.